Howdy ho, everybody. I'm your man, Mr. Tulika, coming to you with this fresh to look at the three hacks that could help your channel grow and be successful in the year 2020. We are helping you take your baby YouTube channel from infant stage to all the way to adulthood today with these three hacks. Let's go. thing I want to get to is this. Sometimes things in life that's worth having are going to take a lot of hard work, but with a little blood, sweat, and tears, not blood, literally. You get, you get the mess. With a little hard work, it will be worth it in the end because you'll be able to look back and say, I did that. Don't ever let anybody tell you you can't because you can. That's what we got to remember. And what we're talking about today is you and how to help you get to your YouTube goals. Being monetized, having an AdSense account, and having over a thousand subscribers, you know, I'll be able to enlighten you and give you some more fresh information that's going to pump your video making skills so you can be successful here on YouTube. The first hack I would like to share with you is to be able to capture your audience's attention. And how do you do that? Is by having a strategic searchable, and the key word I said was searchable title or subject, okay? How to do this, how to create this, how you can grow, you know, and just whatever you are doing, whether it's gonna be a vlog, whether it's gonna be a reaction, or whether it's gonna be any type of uh, education, of uh, showing people how to cook eggs, for instance. You have to be able to have that captured in your topic at the very foremost. And what you can do by that is also to and capture that attention is by having a great thumbnail. You can utilize many apps out there to help you create a great thumbnail. But one of my favorites is the uh, website called Canva, www.canva.com. You could go there and make all types of banners, all types of thumbnails, upload pictures, transparent pictures, and so on to help you create that dynamic, superior thumbnails go that's gonna stand out when people are looking on YouTube and it'll be either on their homepage or in the search portion on that left or right, however you got your setup, where they'll be able to see with their eyes what you have. They not only have a dynamic title, you're gonna have also too that dynamic thumbnail that's gonna capture his or her attention right off the bat. The second hack I would like to share with you this. I want to make sure that you know what you're talking about. Pretty much, point blank and simple. People can pretty scratch and sniff some BS, if you know what I mean. So do your homework. Always do your own research. Look at the subject matter that you're trying to relate to your audience. Uh, go to Wikipedia, go to uh, Alexa, go to Google, whatever you have to do. Go to the library, do your research, learn about it, study it, write it down, get it down, well-versed in your mind's eye so you can spit it to your audience, for lack of a better term. Common sense. Do your research. Do your homework. Get it done. The third hack I would like to share with you is having quality content that's going to be able to stand out above the competition because it is a competitive sport out here in YouTube land, out here in the internet, out here on all social media platforms. Petition is like the Super Bowl, the digital Super Bowl. Man, I, I probably need to uh, huh, copyright that. What do you think? Hmm. Digital Super Bowl, yes. Anyway, back to it. What we want to make sure you understand is not only will you have something that's gonna capture your audience's attention, but you also wanna have quality content. How do you have quality content, you ask? Well, let's take two looks at that. 
you want to be able to capture what you're trying to film with a quality camera. You're going to say, what? I got to go purchase a big $8,000 camera? No, you don't. You can use your own cell phone. Your iPhone, you can use your Android. You just have to uh, go to your settings and put it on 1080 and make it the top quality uh, filming equipment that you already have because these cell phones that we have these days have the same type of video capturing capabilities of any of these high dollar Canon, Sony, whatever, uh, GLX, whatever. You, you can name so many top of the line DSLR digital cameras out there that you can capture, but these cell phones have that. And you wanna make sure you have great audio to not only coincide with your video content that you're actually putting out. So you wanna have a great camera, you wanna have great audio, and you wanna have great, great outstanding lighting. The best lighting out there that you can use is natural lighting. Right now I'm not using natural lighting, I'm using lighting that I purchased. You wanna have that matter that's going to capture somebody's attention. You wanna have great content as the second thing, and you wanna be engaging. You can't be like a days behind. You don't wanna be one of those, you know, people on YouTube that just like that. <sighs> what I'm saying is you wanna be energetic. You want that to translate all you're doing on film to your audience. People can relate to that. Well, keep them engaged, keep them wanting more and more and more, and that will help your small YouTube channel grow to be so successful, not only just passing, surpassing the thousand subscriber mark, but going above and beyond. So let's refresh and give you a reminder what those three hacks are. You wanna be able to capture the people's attention, subject, line, or topic for the video. You wanna be a person that give them quality content, and how you give them quality content is by utilizing your lighting, your camera, having that dynamic thumbnail along with that quality content, and you wanna be relatable before and after you film, edit, and upload to YouTube. That way, you already touched the bases. Keep these three life hacks for your beginning YouTube channel. If you already surpassed a thousand mark, this isn't really for you, but it could be if you want to have some refresher training. Without further ado, I want you to remember that you too can be successful on YouTube. You, right there, you, right there. Go and hit that like button and subscribe. I am your host, Mr. Tulica, with this fresh video of helping my fellow people out there get to where they want to be. And how you're going to do that is by using those three life hacks that I just gave you that's going to help you grow your channel. I'm still in that growing stage. I'm already well over uh, 3,000. I'm at 4,000 probably as soon as this video goes out. Uh, but I'm still growing. I'm getting there. But I want to use all the information that I have gained within this past year to help other people get to where they need to be. Because when I started, people say, ah, that's nothing. You're not gonna be able to do that. I still believe in myself and I believe in you. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it too. That's what my mom said back in the day. So we talked about today is pretty much common sense things that people tend to overlook. And what I mean by that, they just are, are so focused on getting their videos out without actually noticing and doing research. Watch other YouTubers. Learn about that specific niche so you'll be well versed in what's out there, what your competition is doing, and what you have to do to make yourself stand out. So we talked about having something that's going to to their attention by having a great uh, subject line, a topic in your description and on the title so the algorithm can select your video to be on people's homepage. Also too, 
having something that's going to maintain that attention by having a great thumbnail, utilizing your great equipment and lighting to be well versed so it'll be a good quality product for the people and also too just also to just being personable letting people get to know who you are so it will translate to them as a on a personal level be like their cousin so to speak it's always important i like to say i always get things in life too looks because you never know what you're gonna see the second time around peace